Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we are back with another exciting episode of Silent Hunter 5. First things first, let's get a refit done. And secondly, let's get ourselves set, ready to head on up north to Narvik. Should be a fun time. New waypoint, course 199. Let's get everything set. Lovely, no land to run aground in, and then just a hard turn up to here. Now, we can see that around April 9th is when this invasion force is supposedly going to be sailing through here, so we got nine days to get up there and set a little trap for them. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to set said trap for them somewheres in the deep, dark depths of these Norwegian waters here. So what I'm gonna wanna do, first and foremost, is stay down in this end uh, to make contact with the fleet that's coming through. Then, once we make contact with them, because there's no way in hell we're gonna be able to catch uh, any sort of battle group underwater, speed-wise, even with our engine speeds going as best we can, with Willy as upgraded as he will be, uh, when it comes to engine speed, we still only make about three and a half knots underwater, uh, going only speed one, which, you know, I mean, if we go faster than that, our batteries start to drain really, really quickly. So the plan is going to be try and make contact with them coming up here and then set ourselves up a little further along so we can have ourselves a nice trap to uh, hopefully sink ourselves some Royal Navy ships, which will be good. Um, and yeah, we're getting there. We can go, speed ahead. I mean, Slow really, speed ahead. we could go speed three. My word. That ocean sound, just a little too loud in my headphones. So, um, that's the plan there. I certainly hope everyone has had a very Merry Christmas. Um, and, and, you know, obviously looking forward to a Happy New Year. But... You know, it's it's Christmas Day. I hope everyone had plenty of food and family time and, um, you know, just, just enjoyed themselves as best they can. And this is a personal message going up to Six Pack Fish. I hope that these audio levels are not too loud or too quiet for you. On that note, I'm going to see you guys when I've got something far more exciting to share. See you in a bit. All right, so we've arrived at our location, and our hydrophones, unless things have changed for the past, I don't know, roughly at most a minute, are all clear. So we know that there's nothing within 20 kilometers of us. Let's get back on the surface. Now, we did have, on our way up to Norway... We had two radio contacts. One is still showing up. Well, I guess technically we've got two in Scapa Flow that showed up. So chances are we got some military ships on the move. And there was also a large convoy somewhere up here as well. So one thing I would like to do before the 9th, it is currently the 4th of April. So before the 9th, I would like to just see we can run up here and see if we can find ourselves that freighter convoy. So go ahead, speed, speed two, which should be just fine as we slowly bring ourselves up from the depths. And uh, then, yeah, the, the hopefully we can come across the big ass convoy that should be coming up to Narvik. Let's Accelerate time up so we can get on the surface. Don't close, don't close. Thank you. Beautiful day. The sun's over there coming up. The seas are, you know, they're not like glass. And certainly if we're operating the deck gun, we're going to be getting wet. But they're not rough. The boat seems pretty level. And uh, hopefully, 
we can use that to our advantage as we tour around up the north of Norway to try and find ourselves some big ass juicy convoys to sink. So yeah, that's basically the plan for now. Just thought I'd keep you guys up to date. I will be back when we're set and ready to get some explosions or something else strikes my fancy as the time goes on. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, no time for a transition shot. Well, we got time for a transition shot. There's really not much of a point. Plus, I'm excited. We've got a contact there. We don't know what it is. We know it's red and it's evil. So let's get ourselves into a position sort of like that now sure maybe taking on a convoy head-on is not the world's smartest plan and in fact should probably get myself into a better on position like an on approach position uh, but we can maneuver ourselves around a bit once we've got a for sure position on this this little convoy of potential targets uh, instead of you know sort of fiddling around and hoping we get in the right position this way we can we can scope it out and let's just cut our engines somewhere in front of us we should hear it That's not going to be behind us. So, now it's just a waiting game. Just tick some time acceleration past. Warship, moving slow. Closing. Bearing, zero. Long range. How far out is it? 40 kilometers. And we're pretty much right on it. Okay. So, what we want to do... New waypoint. Three, two, two. Let's position ourselves around like that. Extreme speed ahead. New Warship moving. Closing. Bearing. Six. Five. Come on. Long range. This is probably not good for our battery levels either. Half, half strength on the batteries already. That's fine. Is that even going to be a good position? Really doesn't look like it. What a mess, first off. Um, let's just slow this down and see if we can get some visuals on these guys. Now that I've needlessly burned through half of my battery power. But that's okay. Closing tube. Now, if this is the task force that I believe it is, there should be some good ships on the inside here. So let's move like that. I mean, that's... I would have preferred like that. Can we straighten out, please? There we go. Let's get rid of that waypoint. And, yeah, that is that is a lot of destroyers. Still outside of visual range. And they might actually stay that way for a while. Ooh. Let's be smart about this. That's down. Okay, good. We don't need a repeat of the joys of the English Channel here. Alright! These guys should be close enough for a visual now. So let's see what we've got. Can't see a damn thing. Let's keep moving ahead here. Oh, shit. Nope, we did bring that down. 
both are down, right? Because it does seem like we've caught the attention of at least one of these guys. Well, I would expect all of these to be coming right for us. But there's the one and only, well, not the one and only destroyer we're going to have to worry about. But that is certainly a destroyer we have to worry about. I'm more concerned about what... is going to be in the middle of this awesome convoy. So far of what looks to be just destroyers. That might be a cruiser with the three smokestacks. Just looks like another destroyer there. I think that's gonna be our big target. Switching to salvo shooting. Closing tube four. Closing tube three. Torpedo depth set to three meters. So let's acquire a lock. Break the lock and fire. One, loss, this may be a bit two, early. Two, I won't lie. Both of them are out. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, this fine ship right here is our target. A cruiser with a biplane and a massive amount of destroyer escorts. But I think that's it. It looks like the rest of these ships are just destroyers. So there's no real need, per se, if this brackets this ship again, I am never doing salvo shooting. Well, they certainly have a clue we're here. Switching to single tube shooting. Turn that off. Set to three meters. Maybe they'll go through and hit something, but I think definitely I've learned to not do salvos, which is fine. You know, I tried them out. They weren't for me. Nothing wrong with that. Just makes Don't life. That might even be too deep. Meters. We'll Don't go like that. Set to two meters. Reacquire the lock, Firing fire off another four. set, and just put our periscope down, and we should probably even go a little deeper. And in fact, we might want to go deeper than that. Well, in my haste. I missed the important bit. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is definitely a dead ship. Let's see, do we see where the torpedo's impacted? No. It doesn't really matter. That's a cruiser that will not be sailing anymore. Yay! The rest of these destroyers. I mean, we could pick off a few of these destroyers, for sure. Um, none of our torpedo tubes are loaded, but I think, I think that, <laughs> as anticlimactic as it was, and I do apologize for that, um, I think that's good, but it was a Kent heavy cruiser at 10,000 tons, so I'm pleased. I'm sure the Royal Navy's a little bit unimpressed. I don't know if that's actually going to be enough to, um... Well, there's a, there's a whole other convoy up here, isn't there? Or is that just the tail end of ours? But they really have no idea we're here, do they? Well, let's see what these guys do. I think one of them knows. Perhaps not, though. Well, hey, I'm pretty pleased with that. Next time, I'll try and do a better no job. Course, Holy crap. Speed ahead. Minimum speed ahead. 
minimum speed for now, gents. Two, what we're gonna do, because this happened uh, so far south, we can probably, in fact, cut our engines, let those guys go past, head back up to the surface, and then make sure with the observation periscope, because we might as well use the observation periscope every once and again, but we might as well make sure that there's going to be no other surface targets for us. Then turn around and um, try to hit some more of them. Make sure we're not zoomed in and let's just scope out around here. I think we're looking pretty clear there. Let's just get a tighter circle around here. And yeah, I think we're going to be clear for surface contacts. Let's get up to confirm that. Oh, damn you, Periscope. But yeah, I think we're good. I say that, how far out is that? Six kilometers. Surface above. Let's try it. Recharging batteries. All right, they're definitely gone. Good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run along here, probably Both going relatively quickly. We'll you stick to the shallows, course, three, see if we can five, intercept them. Nine somewhere up here keeping ourselves nice and cautious mind you of any other potential surface contacts and at about here I'm gonna want to drop down cut our speed to almost nothing and now what we're going to want to do. Oh, yeah, of course. That's going to continue to go down until I get my face off of it. It doesn't sound like they're anywhere near us. So... The question is, do we, I think what we do, well, so our sonar range is 20 kilometers. So will we be able to catch, I mean, if they go really far north, we won't. So what I say we do is we just surface and push ourselves a little bit further up. Batteries. For a second there, I was expecting my circle to move. I'm a little disappointed it didn't, but that's not the way the game works. We're slowly recharging our batteries, which is fine. Um, you know, hopefully what we can do All is stop. just get ourselves into proper positions so we don't have to worry too much about underwater maneuvering That covers a better area, I think, for our hydrophone range. I think I've said sonar before. Apologies, I know that bothers some people. Almost as much as dead air bothers people. Um, so yeah, so we're clear. We're just going to be waiting for, basically, for Benno to pick up a contact here. Because he should pick up a contact at some point. Benno? Uh, we haven't we haven't unlocked those yet. All right. Well, let's see if we can get your morale yes, up, and maybe that'll. A bit. Yes, a little bit. Okay. So that's that's it. No no morale boost for you, sir. I guess what we could do to help morale out right now is to say, hey, Olaf, my friend. Try some of this too, Captain? I haven't unlocked that for you either. 
will remember to unlock these things. Because now they seem like they might actually be a little useful. So... Yeah. Now we're just waiting for contacts. Which, you know, I mean, we could have we could have smoked a few more destroyers, um, but yeah, such is life. There might even be a freaking convoy of landing ships already there. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I'm gonna wait it out, and I will see you guys when I've got something to sink. See you in a bit. Uh, come on. Sorry. Problems with my stopwatch. We got some good news and we got some bad news. So as you can see, we've got a black contact, which tells me probably freighter. Perhaps troop ship, perhaps cargo ship. Who really knows? Well, I'm sure the people sailing the boat know. Um, but I don't will ever find out. What do you mean, history nerd? Aren't you going to sink it? I would love to sink it. I would love to sink all of the ships. But I'm doubtful. <laughs> We've got a horrible storm that's moved in. Um, I'm not sure if the periscope is really making it clear. So let me hop up into Cheaty View. And you can see our visibility is limited to about the ship. We, uh, oh, we're way back here. All right. So yeah, if we, you know, consider the length of the gray wolf here, and we'll pop ourselves up roughly where the periscope is, we can see that probably uh, 10, maybe 20 meters past the bow or stern of the ship, it is fog. So, I'm not sure, like, I mean, obviously, this guy here being, you know, six kilometers away, um, Slow speed ahead. we'll see if we can get closer here. And it's just a single contact. So I don't know. We'll cut our engines. But now, I mean, this guy is pretty much right in front of us. And we've got nothing. So the weather conspires yet again against the crew of the Grey Wolf. Sure, we took out that heavy cruiser. And hey, that's not bad. But we still have a job to do here. And now I could fire a spread out. The thing I'm concerned about, and I guess maybe I shouldn't be that concerned about it, um, is sinking a Norwegian ship. We're still technically allied with the Norwegians. So, I mean, obviously we've got, you know, forces, British forces coming in in different locations. We could try and, you know, shift ourselves down, we still have a few days. It's the 5th, and this is supposed to take place on the 9th. So we could still try and position ourselves maybe by Trondheim here? I mean, I would imagine that's where this group is headed. I don't know how far into Trondheim it'll go, or even down here by Bergen. We could try uh, maneuvering these guys down. I, I don't know. I kind of feel like staying where we are might be the safer of the options. But with the way the weather is, I'm not really sure that staying here is going to be a good idea. So, yeah, because if these are big ships, right, it's not like they'll be sailing through here. Right? Theoretically? I don't know, would Bergen be a better spot? I mean, Bergen would be tough to get into. So you would assume that the heavy ships would stay out. 
but the mission area is here. Attack ships within Narvik area of operations and attack British ships entering Norway's territorial waters. So, I mean, I guess technically we've taken care of what's going on in Narvik. I don't know, maybe we wait it out. Maybe we wait it out. We'll spend a day or two waiting it out up here. Um, we are in a fairly good position. Uh, let's set our sensor range up again. You know, we're in a fairly good position to cover every ship that's going to be coming into Narvik. So I think what we're going to do is we'll just wait it out. Hopefully the weather clears in a day or two. And, um, you know, we definitely need to get our batteries recharged. Maybe now with the weather socked in, it's the time to do it. So let's leave our... position Minimum speed or our little uh, surface range up and um, you know we can just we can return here after a little run to recharge the batteries and uh, you know hopefully by then Recharging batteries. so yeah we are on the surface now like I say and we are you know at best a kilometer away from this ship that I have no idea its nationality. Come on, get up. Can we even see smoke or anything from it? Can't see a damn thing. And even if I get cheaty, right? Like, let's, let's slap down a mark and zoom in here on the cheaty view. Oh, we can hear it. Oh, there she is. It's a Norwegian ship. Going as slow as we possibly can. We are not that far away. This is not good hunting weather. You know, it's a, it's a Norwegian ship. We're not going to worry about that. They're still technically friends. So, um, yeah, we'll just do our lap and hopefully hit something in a day or two when the weather's better. So we will see you guys uh, later. See you in a bit. Okay, well, I've, I've really done goofed. And uh, I messed up my timer. So it's, we're back to zero. That's fine with me. Uh, it does look like Trondheim may have been the better location. We've got two task force in the area now. And as, you know, the, as you can see, the weather, it's not improving. New contact, merchant, moving fast, closing, bearing, 22, long range. And it's too bad because... New waypoint, course, one, one, zero. Okay, we can cut our engines there. Cut that out. It looks point. like... Are these guys coming straight for us? I think they might be. So, let's get under. Probably should have pulled my torpedo reserves in. Shut down diesel engines. Current depth, one okay. Zero. Now, Dangerous. hopefully... These guys are not coming straight for me. So they, but they're going to have to, it looks like they're going up, but they're going to have to go this way eventually. And what I would like to do New waypoint. Course three, four, with three, our three, full three, battery three, power three, right three, now is to just keep pace with them while we're under. Cut our engines. Okay, so they're still going. Minimum speed ahead. Cut our engines. Now it looks to me No, they're still going forward. Okay. Minimum speed well ahead. we will continue forward. Minimum. 
And let's let's see, has the world improved at all? Maybe slightly? <laughs> no, it it hasn't improved in the slightest. Where's my freaking boat? So, I mean, we can keep this going, but it looks like they're starting. I guess it's just those two, really. Ho! Oh. Okay, can we get a flag on this guy? Where's your effing ensign? He's right in front of us. Oh, you're definitely a British ship. Now, my only concern here is... Um, if I can zoom in... How... Where... Where are you? Why can't I see you on the freaking minimap? Okay. There's only one way to deal with this. Obviously, at this stage. Uh, considering the weather. No, no, no. We're going up. Man. Come on, come on, come on. No, open! Open the damn hatch. Open the freaking hatch! Are you kidding me? Thank God. Okay. Have we lost it? Of course we have. Minimum speed ahead. Well, we know that it's heading in this direction and I'm gonna oh shit oh, stop. back us up back Speed us up back. back us up okay we may have missed the first freighter gun crew gun crew but we're not gonna freaking miss the second one that's for sure. At this range, probably want to be going high explosive because we're not going to be able to get down to the water line. Shut down these legends. Recharging batteries. And, uh, I mean, you know, we're not Recharging even using batteries. gun sights at the moment. They're close enough that we can you just kind of hammer them. Moving slow. Closing. Bearing two, three, one. Medium range. Medium range with a warship, huh? That does sound dangerous. Let's oh, stop. halt the damn engines, because I realized we're going backwards with a waypoint. So that means we're just turning the ship around. My god! Nine kilometers out? No, no, no. But I would like Benno to keep me appraised of what's going on with that warship. So we don't wind up getting shot to pieces. If And also now, if we've got these freighters concerned enough to be throwing up their searchlights, we might be able to spot them in the fog just a little bit better. And hopefully we can put enough high explosive rounds into this ship. Come on, waves. Work with me here to sink it and actually get something accomplished um, with these freighter convoys. Okay, let's let's not be shooting so quick. Let's try and keep them lined up on the lights. Well, thanks for the Christmas present, Silent Hunter. Uh, it crashed. The game just just crashed to desktop right in the middle of that fight. So uh, I have no idea how far back we are. Unfortunately, on load, uh, the game has decided to keep the same weather it always had. Batteries. Sometimes the weather will change. Usually I find the weather changes uh, for worse <laughs> on each load, but it's nice to know that if the weather's already incredibly crappy, 
Uh, it will stay incredibly crappy. So uh, it looks like we're in a position here uh, way back before we even came across that freighter group. And so I'm going to use my advanced knowledge of the future. And coming down here to Trondheim, although that, but that doesn't, doesn't seem to sync with the nature of the game or the mission of the game. I guess we did sync ships within Narvik area of operations. But we know freighter fleets are going to be coming through here. And we know that this is a good position to be in. So let's stick with what we know, shall we? Um, probably about here. That should be good. It does look like Benno's range can go a bit further than that. Come on. But um, I'll keep it. I'll keep it like that. And so what we'll just do here is run a patrol to charge the batteries. Let's just get that done as quick as we possibly can. Lovely. How's the outside weather? It's the same shitty, foggy weather. Lovely. At least the Tiger Stripes are back. That's good. Um, so that's good. The crew is talking, right? Oh, look at that. So maybe this game just wanted to crash to be like, hey, I can run better and I know it. Well, thanks, game. Would have been nice if you chose... Oh, now, now that I've said that, I lose control of my head. Um, what do I care about? Subsystems... Battery power 100%. Lovely. We're in position. Um, basically. In fact, we're a little off position. That's fine. Let's get under. And we will start searching. I will see you guys when we get a hold of a perhaps mysterious convoy that might appear out of the fog. Uh, see you guys in a bit. So, way out here. We can just pick up some contacts. Engage electric motors. Current depth, one, zero meters. And they're basically right in front of us, which is, you know, oh, excuse me, which is basically what I was expecting. So New we're just, warship moving slow. I wasn't really expecting warships and I wasn't expecting destroyers to just be wiggling out there. So that's, kind of unexpected what's also unexpected is that it is now what the 6th of Close April bearing 14 long range worship closing Th those guys aren't closing Benno um, yeah it's the 6th of April now and we haven't we haven't come across any of the freighters how's the weather still crap so that tells me we can probably safely surface New waypoint, course 11. and see if we can go play with these destroyers at least. Now, half of me is expecting them to be in the same spot, and the other half is expecting me, is expecting them to move the same distance. Moving away, bearing 3, 5, 2, long range. New contact? Yeah. So what we... To, to show you guys what's happening here, in case you're not familiar, in case you're new to Silent Hunter, we'll go ahead, speed three. Or speed one. Three and a half knots ahead. And these guys are just going to do their wiggles at a distance of... 25 kilometers forever. And it doesn't appear as if any freighters are coming. So let's head back to our to our point here. Right? We can go back up on the surface. Actually, that's fine. Surface the boat. And we'll we'll batteries. drop down. They're down. Benno, have you picked up the wiggles yet? No. Engage electric motors. That surprises Current me. One, zero. Meters. Let's see if they're actually gone. Oh, 
We certainly have like a, a 20 degree spread here of engine noise, which tells me that that's probably not two New waypoint. Course destroyers three, with the wiggles. Five, four. Returning to course. Course. New what that waypoint. probably course. is three, zero, seven. There's a stop. whole We're bunch of freighters. So let's get back down. Engage electric motors. Current depth. And Benno. One, zero. Meters. New contact. Warship. Moving slow. Closing. Bearing. Three. Three. One. Long range. Okay, so that's going to be this guy. So where's the other one with the wiggles? Are we down to one now? New contact? No, of course we're not down to one. That would be silly. All right, well, this is just going to be freaking annoying for the rest of today's mission. Um, well, let's get on the surface. It's supposedly sunny, but, you know, the storm that won't end is still raging. Uh, what is it? The sixth? I guess we can we can just kill some time, basically, and wait for more British ships to come, which is exactly what I think I'm going to do. So I will see you guys when we got something other than two destroyers with the Wiggles. See you in a bit. So we've picked up another task force coming in, which is good news. Uh, you can see my little camera mark there, so we could capture one of the destroyers with the wiggles. Um, hopefully this guy comes in, you know, basically again right for us. It's what now? The it's still the sixth, but we're still dealing with the world's worst weather. So hopefully by the time this task force comes in uh you know the weather clears and if not we'll just have to do what we did before the game crashed and get in nice and close basically knife fighting range to uh hit him up you know crazy style with high explosives so yeah that's that's our future hopefully it comes we'll see you guys if and when it does Good news! The weather's improved. Uh, and we've also got a couple of targets. Well, not really targets, because they're Norwegian. And I do believe it is still... Uh, it's just April the 7th. Now, just turned over recently. We're still green with the Norwegians, so we are not going to attack them. Um, we do have the task force coming in, so hopefully they come in eventually. Haven't seen hide nor hair of them yet, but I mean, it hasn't even been... Um, that long and of course we've still got the two wiggly destroyers uh at 20 some odd kilometers away correct correct so that situation hasn't changed and is unlikely to in fact i'm kind of hoping we're able to bring them along on our journey to uh wilhelmshaven we'll see if that's actually going to happen uh regardless I'm pretty excited. Oh god, where's my periscope? Oh dear, we're not moving correctly at all. There we go. I'm excited the storm is finally blown over and we're in a good position to do torpedo attacks again. Yay! Look at that. Look at look at this the sight distance. Calm waters, my word. We'll be sinking all the British ships. Um, once they show up, of New course. Contact? Yes, those two are Norwegian ships, Benno. We let them sail on by. So, uh, we're just going to be waiting for those freighters to show up. Merchant, moving fast. Closing. Speak of the devil, how many? A lone merchant. Bearing two, zero, one. Long range. It's definitely coming the right direction for it to be a British ship. But, with it just being a lone ship... Not sure it's going to make for the world's best target. How far out is that? Probably outside of visual range. Right? Yeah, 15 kilometers. We're not seeing that. 
Um, but what about this? Oh, that would have been the other ones. The reason I'm not too uh, keen on going after this is because it's just a single ship. And I mean, this is this is clearly a task force. It was it was even identified as such to me. So a lone merchant. I'm I'm not. I mean, maybe they'll adjust their course so they'll be within visual range. It I mean, it doesn't really look like it, but I don't think hunting down that merchant is going to be a good use of our time. So uh, I'm just going to wait it out and hopefully get that merchant fleet or some kind of fleet coming in so we can loose all of our torpedoes. See you guys when that happens, hopefully. I knew my patience would pay off. We have... Look at all those warships coming in here. So, we've got... Actually, I want to go check this out. Um, forgive me, it looks like we may have just dropped the destroyer over here. Let's go to the mark, because the minimap doesn't show... Tar well, maybe not at this range. Oh yeah, we can see one of the destroyers, maybe a couple of little marks. It's not easy to get around uh, in shitty view. It seems to be going very slowly as well. Let's dolphin along. So we got nothing else to do with our time. Um, the reason why I'm getting super cheaty here is because it looks like maybe the destroyer with the wiggles took out another escort, potentially making our job um, very minutely easier because it is, it's also, you know, one of the destroyers in the rear. So let's see. First off, what we're going to be going up against here. So we got a destroyer. I'm expecting a capital ship. Uh, indeed, that is the ship I'm expecting. Well, perhaps not that ship in particular, but do you have damage? And critically, is there any ship underwater? You look fine. I think what's going on... Uh, yeah. We were just, we were just missing that destroyer from new waypoint course two six or because it was whoa minimum speed ahead. and really all i care about is pointing the right direction stop. stop we are underwater already but they are not moving directly towards us so, Minimum speed ahead. actually, we'll Slow go speed, speed two ahead. here to try and get a better position for ourselves. Um, oh, geez. Okay. I want to go this way. Nice and slowly. I just want to make sure we don't have our periscope up. Okay, good. We don't. I mean, I realize I'm raising it right now. But if we were sailing along under time acceleration with the periscope up, that's just bad news for all involved. Let's zoom in a bit on both the minimap and the periscope. The seas are getting a little rough. You know, that's, that's new. Well, I mean, it's not new, but it's, it's new for, the, <laughs> for this task force showing up. I have a feeling the two are related. Let's just try and cut our angle in a bit better here. Okay. Did I leave the periscope up? No. But these guys are definitely actively awesome. hunting. Have they stopped? Are you wanting to make my job easy? Well, I say that... We're at a range of, oh no, five kilometers. It's still within torpedo range. The trick is, they're, they're not within visual range. But they're not moving? Like, I don't... We've got one destroyer off going that way. 
but nothing else? Okay. Minimum speed ahead. Oh, are they turning around? Is that it? Have I missed have I missed my chance? No, I haven't. The boat. Half speed ahead. We're getting this damn battleship. Recharging. Twenty knots. We should be able to close the gap here. Is the weather really getting to be that bad again? Okay, let's go under. And Benno, can you cut through the noise? Can we see more than one? Yeah, they definitely are moving at a serious clip. So... Half speed ahead. Surface the boat. Maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to sneak up on them. Now we should... F it. Full speed ahead. We've got the fuel to spare. And there's no way this group could be going quicker than freaking 23 knots, right? Periscope depth. Minimum speed ahead. Let's get under Engage Benno. Motors. Recharging batteries. Current depth, one, zero meters. So they are so close to us. Basically dead ahead. And yeah, this is this is just a case of the weather being stupid. Okay, but now that ship dead ahead of us is probably a destroyer because I think there. Can we see your visual? Okay, so you've got absolutely nothing when it comes to vision. Good God, we're getting close. Capital ship sighted, bearing eight. Really, we can see the capital ship bearing eight? Is that a capital ship? No way. That feels like... It can't be. Where are its escorts? Pardon the cheaty. And task force inside bearing three, two. That is okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is its escort. So we still can't really see it. So what I'm tempted to do... Torpedo depth set to one meters. Okay. It's... yeah. Like, I think it's just our angle of approach here. So if we kind of adjust it a bit more. Task force sighted, bearing seven. So what I'm concerned about here, good God, the weather, um, is that we might not be able to get a good line on the battleship, but it certainly looks like we can. I'm just concerned that the torpedoes we fire are going to go more towards that destroyer. Regardless, I think Torpedo depth set to we don't have much of a choice here. Tracking new target. 
we could go even a bit deeper than that. Do that set to four meters. Firing two one. Torpedo depth set to four meters. Target marked. Firing two two. And we're gonna do three torpedoes at varying depths. Now I know the three meter will Target hit it. And we're also gonna freaking get under before this turns into a whole fiasco. So with these at varying depths, I'm sh I'm sure all three will hit. Um, but you know that's just that's just gonna cover us to make sure. What I'm also gonna do is be a bit better with my time acceleration. I hope. Okay, well that was hopefully the third torpedo. Yeah, that should have been the third torpedo. So, I mean, you know, at least... Oh, good God. Come on. Great. Yes. That's exactly what I wanted, was to pan the minimap around. Torpedo missed, sir. All right, so now, well, yeah, the, I mean, the battleship's got the wiggles now. Torpedo missed, sir. But I also don't know if it was a range limitation. Regardless... We've got a window in the rear now. How many torpedoes have we got left? Whew. Okay. So, hopefully, can I have my binoculars, please? There we go. Hopefully... This destroyer, that it looks like we cut in twain. And indeed, we have cut her in twain. Hopefully she goes down quick, because I have a feeling we're kind of plowing uh, directly for her at 20 knots. Good. Is she down? Pretty much. That's all that's left of her. But, with the battleship having a serious case of the wiggles, I definitely, definitely want to be careful with my torpedo launches. And... I wouldn't mind, whoops, that is my bad, zoom in. I wouldn't mind getting as close as we possibly can. Again, these guys can't be going quick. I mean, they can be going quick. I remember the days when I used to highlight that and it would tell me the speed they were going. Those were happier times. Yeah, you're doing great, Benno. Not Benno, Dieter. Just an absolute peach. So, yeah, I'm concerned. Does she still have the wiggles? That is not the way to check. That device has my head bobbing far more than I can counteract. But she definitely does. Let's see here. Maybe, maybe she's lost the wiggles. 
So let's just adjust ourselves. Give me the Uzo again. And I should, I mean, I know we're fine for range. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure. So we can definitely go like that. We'll go three meters. We're going right up the butt. So we'll get this next torpedo ready. But shooting it just down the middle like this should be okay. Ready. I'm glad tube two is ready. My hope is that this shot, if it hits, I mean, it's looking pretty darn good. Going up the wake of the boat here. Sorry, the battle boat. Where are you at? There you are. Go on. Is that we can at least slow her. We can at least slow her down. Torpedo impact. And I mean, I think... I think that's mission accomplished. So, stage two, as she's slowing. Let's get ourselves under. Critically, let's get ourselves under quick. So we won't cut our engines until we're fully under. Our battery power is looking good. And by cut our engines, I mean slow to speed one. And let's... I hope I wasn't preemptive here. Recharging batteries. I think I might have been. Because she is still cooking it. But what we can do, cut our engines and at least get a couple of torpedo shots off um, from the periscope, which I just find easier to use. I say that as the periscope is entirely covered in water. We're going to go a little torpedo lower. Set to four meters. Target marked. Two, two, close. And see if that'll improve things. Slightly different angle, which I like. As long New as she contact, doesn't miss it. Warship, moving slow. But she moving won't. Away. And as long Bearing, as she's not too three, deep. Five, six, long range. And she isn't. But this should be closer, hopefully. Torpedo impact. Really? We only took out one propeller? Well, I mean, that's just not... I was hoping for better. Um, Torpedo depth set to four meters. All right, well, if we hammer it a third time in the rear... Maybe we can finally do enough damage to these propellers so we can position ourselves maybe with the rear launcher. To take on, there goes the torpedo directly under us. Tube three, ready. Have we missed? Oh, you bastards. And these guys are still continuing, right? Torpedo missed, sir. Okay. We're not out of this yet. Surface Back to the Both surface. I mean, at this stage now, all I care about... Oh, good God. Thank you. All I care about is disabling the battleship. Where'd it go? Escort sighted bearing five. 
Is he coming back to play? He must be. Oh shit, okay, I don't think that's... We gotta get under quick. Moving fast, closing, bearing, three, zero, zero, long range, Current depth, one, zero, meters. I don't think they engines. saw us. Recharging batteries. Current depth, two, zero, meters, all stop. Current it doesn't depth, really matter. Three, meters, current depth. Four, zero, meters. Why did we... Keel yeah, we have one, five, tons of room under meters, the keel. Captain. They couldn't be further from us. But I bet you that battleship is still going strong, isn't it? I mean, there's a quick and surefire way to check. Let's turn off the time acceleration. But if we just cheaty view our way ahead <clears throat> a fair bit... You know, we got the escorts. And that's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the hell? I said crash dive. Why is that 159 meters? Go back. Depth, one, zero, two meters. Why would it go down that far? Let's help, our, help our climb. Oh, our climb. Sorry, I meant our descent. One, six, zero meters. Which that? No, no. Go to Paris. Go above. to periscope, periscope depth. depth. Well, we could go to surface depth. It's going to take forever and a day to get us up there from 160 meters. So, I'm really kind of ticked that it's one torpedo per propeller. And, um, you know, I've, I've no good way to judge naval speed, but something tells me this battleship is still progressing just fine. Can we come up, please? Like, look at this. Look, look at how deep we are. This is ridiculous. I mean, I guess, good news, we were so far under, the escorts had no idea where we were. And they still don't. We still have one torpedo up front surface, surface and let's chase them down because again with that one destroyer we took off okay well at least if the game decides to crash our autosave has given us a very advantageous position Were you one of the ones with the wiggles? We got a bit of room here. Maybe not. But how about we all, you know, stay at periscope depth? That would be a good idea. Okay. That guy can break off. We should be safe to pursue now. No visual indication that that destroyer is coming after us. Good. I was going to say I would have expected us to come across these guys. Now is this guy just ditching out for a patrol? 
Or is he sailing in in convoy? I think this is just a freaking lone wolf, isn't it? Okay. I'm fairly confident that's the battleship in front of us. I've been using Cheaty View a bit too much today, so I'm not going to use it right now. We got... We can push this just a little bit. Task force sighted. Bearing three, four, one. It's going to be of no help to me whatsoever. I would just like to know... Well, I think I can guess... that the destroyer is probably... not the destroyer, the battleship, is probably here or here. And so what we're gonna wanna do... New waypoint, course two. Okay, good. He totally didn't see us. So we can stay along their visual range. I think it's safe to say... ...that the battleship's here, because otherwise we would have seen it already. Let's get ourselves a little bit further ahead of these guys. A little bit further ahead. I'm a bit worried that we haven't seen it yet, but I would bet when we turn... We have a task force inside. Bearing three, we two, will see four. it. So, let's get ourselves under on a periscope depth. I don't know how many meters you said. Let's get under, let's get under. Okay, now, I want to cut this in. And what we're going to be looking for is a window between these two escorts. Good God, weather. Cooperate, please. So there's a destroyer. There should be another destroyer there. And then there's a third one up there. So somewhere here, there needs to be the battleship. Unless that's it. Bearing 46, long range. Way out there. Okay, you know what? F it. I've been cheating all day. It's Christmas. I'm allowed. Destroyer, destroyer, destroyer. These bastards duped me. Okay, so we've got to go further out. Contact. Warship moving slow. My god. How long has this not been recording? Oh, it's been one hell of an adventure. I've got another hour since the crash. I don't know if you guys saw what's been happening this entire time, but uh, the game crashed. I was going up against the convoy. Obviously, you guys remember that. So the game crashed and I loaded up well before the convoy came along. Uh, if this has all been recorded, then great. If it hasn't been, you guys have missed out on about an hour of content, and I feel horrible about that. Um, but, on the plus side, it looks like we're going to be sinking a battleship here. And this was one New hell contact, of an event to get slow, to this sucker. Bearing two, one, oh my six, god, that, that, that right there feels amazing. See ya! jerk um might as well finish watching this ship go under 
silently bearing. One, nine, slipping away. Six. Certainly is taking her sweet time. There she goes. To the deep, dark depths below. Very deep here, too, by the way. So. Oh, where are we at? We're down here. We've come a long way. <laughs> what, what, what was she and how much did she add to us? A Queen Elizabeth class battleship, 31,000 tons in conjunction with, thankfully, um, the heavy cruiser that we sunk earlier. Earlier than that B-class. Anyway, the heavy cruiser counted. We got two more destroyers and a Queen Elizabeth class, class battleship. Whew! What a, di what a mission. And I feel like a lot of people missed out on this. Let's get as deep as we can go. Well, not as deep as we can go, but... Let's get all of these destroyers out of the way. That's fine. We'll get back on the surface. I'm going to call it an episode. So. <laughs> oh, good God. Thumbs up if you have enjoyed today's episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching. Sorry if we've missed the important good bits. Because it's been some serious stalking of a battleship group. And if we missed it, that's... That's too bad. Uh, uh, again, I hope everyone had a wonderful and Merry Christmas. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.